Wouldn't you like to see your business processes animated like this? Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. Today I'll show you another tool from my process mining toolbox. It is called Bupar, a funny name. The name stands for Business Process Analysis with R. One of the great features of Bupar are elegant process animations. In this video I'll show you how to do one of these. If you want to try it out, go to the Bupar page. I'll put a link in the description below. From there you should be able to install R and the Bupa packages. I'll use an XES log file here that you can find in the supplementary material, referenced in the description below. Of course you can also use your own XES file. So we'll walk through the Bupa cheat sheet and then animate the process log with an extra package written by Felix Mannart. You will see it's all very easy. Let's go to the computer. Ok, I have the Bupa system up and running here on my screen. And I will first go through the steps in the Bupa cheat sheet that you can also see here now. And um, the first part of commands that we need to do here is the installation of some packages. So, first one is install the Bupa package and in the first instance the system asks me which server to use and I will take a server here in Germany in Erlangen and um, some of the servers don't have all the packages so you have to choose the right one and then um, you, had, you have this um, message that everything is okay and then I will just take all the other installation lines from the cheat sheet, copy paste them in here and then the system just installs all of these things from this server. So that's that. The next one is that we need to load the Bupa library in the system so again, this is one command and I will now get the XES log file from the supplementary material which is called report.xes and in R you have this, uh, the possibility to ask um, for the working directory. So get working directory and um, in this case it's users user documents and it's in this directory that you have to place the report.xes file and I've done that already and so um, to, um, to read from this file you need this command. So XES reader read XES, this is the function, and then report.xes is the file name. And then we assign the result of that to a variable called log. And if we type in log here, we can see some kind of summary of this log. So now we have this variable log that we can use for our next steps. And I will just show you some of the things you can do now. For example, the first one is um, you, we can produce a process map and this is the, the first function of Bupa here. The next function is we can plot a precedence matrix and so here you can see the precedence matrix so which steps comes after which step close that. Another thing is the trace explorer. And we have to 
extend that a little and then you can see the different trace variants uh, of our log. And um, last but not least, we have the dotted chart. And the dotted chart is um, telling us, for example, here we have these color-coded activities. Um, create report is always the first one, and then edit report is another one which appears several times. Check report. And you can see when on the timeline did all these activities take place. And that's the standard, some of the standard functions uh, that are in Bupa. And now I will um, install the packages uh, from the process animator. So I will install process animator. And I will load the library And then I will animate the process log. And now you can see our process log animated here. And you can see that we have a certain number of bubbles before edit report and before check report. And then you can see that many of them have been edited several times. And this is, this is the animation that allows you to discover bottlenecks in the process, for example. And that's it. I only scratched the surface of this great tool. The underlying R is a programming language for statistics. You can represent your data using tables, box plots, and lots of other graphical ways. The possibilities are endless. If you work a lot with data, you should really consider learning R if you don't know it yet. I hope you found this video useful. If this is the first time that you have worked with R, let me know if you could follow along without problems. Looking forward to hearing from you.